Hello everyone, today we are going to uh, look at a problem which applies for grade 5, grade 6 or primary 5, primary 6. Mr. Stan baked 36 more chocolate muffins than banana muffins. After she gave away 4 by 9 of the chocolate muffins and 1 over 2 or half of the banana muffins, she was left with 25 more chocolate muffins then banana muffins, how many chocolate muffins did she bake at first? So it's a combination of whole numbers and fractions here. So first let's take the statement, Ms. Tan baked 36 more chocolate muffins than banana muffins. So after more than, we have banana muffins here. So that should be our reference. So banana muffins is our reference. Let's draw a model for banana muffins first. This is like, let's assume that this is one unit of banana muffins. Now, we know that Ms. Tan baked 36 more. We know that Ms. Tan baked 36 more chocolate muffins than banana muffins. So when we draw a model for chocolate muffins, that is equal to what banana muffins is, the same sized unit but there is 36 more, so plus 36. That is the number of uh, chocolate muffins that we have. Now we go on to the next statement. After she gave away four over nine of the chocolate muffins and half of the banana muffins. Now when you come to the chocolate muffins, take a look at here, we have an unknown part and a known part. So when we want to do a fraction, when we want to find a fraction of this, we will consider the unknown part and the known part individually or separately. So we will take 4 over 9 of this and 4 over 9 of this separately. Again, when we say 4 over 9, what we mean is we are going to divide this into 9 equal parts and take away 4. Similarly here, we are going to divide this into 2 equal parts and take away 1. So that is what it means here. right? Now, Let's say we divide this into 9 and we divide this into 2 equal parts. Now we have one small issue. The unit size of this and the unit size of this is very different. And you see here, it's, it's very hard for us to relate these unit sizes. But fortunately, we know that this whole size and this whole size are equal. Which means, if we can divide these two, into the same number of units, then their sizes would be the same. That can be achieved by LCM. LCM of 9 and 2, 9 times 2 gives 18, 2 times 9 gives 18, which means we are going to divide this into 18 and this into 18. The total size being the same, if we divide them into 18 equal sized units, then the unit sizes would be the same. So here we are going to divide this into 9 times 2. So each of these units are again going to be divided into two smaller units. Similarly here, 2 times 9, which means each unit will be divided into 9 smaller units. Right? So here we divide the rest of them into 2 smaller units each. A total of 2 times 9 will be 18. Similarly here, we are going to divide this remaining into 9 parts. So 9 times 2 gives 18. So we've got 18 units here. Now, we have to take 4 over 9 of this. Similarly, half of this, 1 over 2 of this. Like how we obtained LCM, here we will try to make the denominator the same. Here 9 times 2. Here 2 times 9, both becomes 18. When we multiply the denominator, we also have to multiply the numerator with the same value. So here it's times 2 and here it's times 9. So this becomes 8 over 18 and 9 over 18. So she gave away 4 over 9 or 8 over 18 of the chocolate muffins and 1 over 2 or 9 over 18 of the banana muffins. So this is 8 units that should go off and here 9 units that is supposed to be given away. Now, we have covered the unknown part. 
but the known part is 36 we have to separately calculate for this 4 over 9 of 36 9 times 4 is 36 and 4 times 4 gives 16 so 16 is given away which means out of 36 16 is given away the remaining is 20 here so now let's focus on what is left right so you can see here uh, we have 10 units plus 20 if you calculate here and banana muffins we have 9 units now what is happening here she was left with 25 more chocolate muffins than banana muffins so the chocolate muffins that we have here is 25 more than the banana muffins see here this is what is more now meaning 10 units so one unit is more and then there is 20 and this is actually equal to 25 and it's very clear that if this whole thing is 25 and this known quantity is 20 this one unit has to be 5 so one unit here is equal to 5 now let's go back to what was the original uh, size so this is 5 and initially there were 18 units plus 36 for the chocolate muffins and for the banana muffins there were 18 units how many chocolate muffins did she bake at first so she baked 18 units plus 36 a one unit is equal to 5 so 18 units plus 36 is the number of chocolate muffins so 18 times 5 plus 36 which comes to 126 I hope this was easy to follow if you have any doubts please uh, put your doubts in the comment section I'll try to answer them and if you need if you think uh, more clarification has to be uh, you know given in certain parts of uh, this class please let me know I will try to uh, include that as well so now we move on to uh, algebra how to solve this problem using algebra Miss Tan baked 36 more chocolate muffins than banana muffins after she gave away 4 over 9 of the chocolate muffins and half of the banana muffins she was left with 25 more chocolate muffins than banana muffins how many chocolate muffins did she bake at first similar statement more than so what comes after more than is banana muffins so that is our reference so let's assume banana muffins is the number of banana muffins bx right and she baked 36 more chocolate muffins which means the chocolate muffins uh, number is going to be x plus 36 so that is the number of chocolate muffins now she gave away 4 over 9 of the chocolate muffins now if she gave away 4 over 9 what is left is 5 over 9 of the chocolate muffins so we can write it as 5 over 9 of x plus 36 is left see this is the whole which is 9 over 9 all right out of 9 over 9 we have taken 4 out of 9 so the remaining is 5 out of 9 of this amount for the banana muffins we are taking away half 1 over 2 which means uh, out of 2 over 2 we have taken 1 over 2 the remaining is 1 over 2 of x now we come back to uh, the final state chocolate muffins and banana muffins and 25 more after she has given away she was left with 25 more chocolate muffins than banana muffins so chocolate muffins is 25 more than banana muffins the number of chocolate muffins is 25 more than banana muffins if we want to make them equal then we need to add a 25 quantity on this side so to make them equal we have to add 25 here so that both left hand side and the right hand side of the equation is going to be equal so the chocolate muffins is going to be 5 over 9 that is left 5 over 9 of x plus 6 and the banana muffins is going to be what is left is half of x right so that is equal to half of x plus this 25 and we have added the 25 so that we can make an equation here because both sides have to be equal 
Now, when we do this, 5 over 9 times x plus 5 over 9 times 36. So that is 5x over 9 plus 5 over 9 times 36, which is equal to here again, x is can be written as x over 1. So the numerators we multiply together x over 2 plus 25. So we have 5x over 9 plus 5 over 9 of 36. On simplification, this would become 9 times 4 is 36, 5 times 4 is 20. And on the other side, x over 2 plus 25. So 5x over 9 plus 20 is equal to x over 2 plus 25. Now, we can uh, bring all the x terms to one side. Here, x over 2 is positive. So when you bring over the equality sign, it becomes negative, minus x over 2. Uh, similarly, 20, when you bring over here, it's minus 20. Another way of looking at is, if I want to get rid of 20 here, I can minus of 20 on this side and minus of 20 on this side as well. So I can add, subtract, multiply or divide both sides with the same value. Similarly, if I want to remove x over 2 here, I can minus x over 2 this side and minus x over 2 this side. That's how we get this equation here. Here, uh, the one of the denominator is 9, the other denominator is 2. So to make the denominators the same, I can multiply this by times uh, 9 and times 9. So that becomes, makes the denominator 18 here. Here times 2 times 2, that makes the denominator 18 here. So times 2 will become 10x here minus 9x over 18 is equal to 25 minus 20, which is 5. So that means 10x minus 9x is x is equal to 5 times 18, which is 90. Now, we have to find out how many chocolate muffins did she bake at first. So the number of chocolate mu muffins she baked at first is x plus 36. So that is equal to 19 plus, sorry, 90 plus 36, which is 126. Hope this was helpful. Um, if you want me to go deeper in terms of algebra, and if you're new to algebra, please let me know. I can make separate videos for algebra and hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, like my video, share with your friends and most importantly, have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.